Hello and welcome to this overview on DevOps applications. My name is Mike Lampert. I'm an outbound product manager at ServiceNow. Today we'll cover what is a DevOps app, why is it needed, and then we'll jump into a demo to show you how to create it. A DevOps application is used to collect all the current data that is connected to your DevOps tools. So things like your planning information, your repositories, your pipelines, etc. Those tools need to be connected first before you create a DevOps app. So why do we need a DevOps app? It is used in ServiceNow in the DevOps data model to correlate all the plans, repositories and pipelines together for an application to enable tracking. And it provides those associations for DevOps data, such as linking commits to work items. It enables traceability for the user stories, the commits, the test results, and other data. Associating those plans, repos, and pipelines to an application also enables you to model your pipeline, uh, enable change automation, and also DevOps metric reporting. Within CSDM, which is the Common Services Data Model, when you create a DevOps app, it also creates two other components in the CMDB, an SDLC component and an application product model component. Those will all have the same name that you use as your DevOps app by default. Now let's jump into the demo. We are now in the DevOps change workspace. We have already created our integration with our tools. So we can see there are 79 tools that we have uh, integrated. Our tools such as Jira, Jenkins, GitHub, etc. And now we're going to create a DevOps application. We can either do that from the home page by clicking on create an application, or we can go to the applications menu and click on new. Here we give our DevOps app a name. And click next. A playbook is now running, which will guide us through the rest of the process. At this stage, we can choose to associate our DevOps app with a business application if we want to. Uh, we can open the uh, magnifying glass and search for a relevant business application. I'm not going to do that in this case. We can also specify a group or a number of groups who have access to the application if we want to restrict access to specific groups. Again, I'm not going to do that uh, in this uh, demo, but that's an option that's available. Click Next. The playbook will now guide us through the steps you can see on the left there. The first step is to associate which pipelines we want to draw data from for this particular app. So we'll select a pipeline tool. I'll select um, Azure DevOps in this case and choose the two pipelines that I have there and associate those with the DevOps app. I can also now assign uh, specific services and pipeline step types to the different steps or stages in my pipeline. So uh, I have available to me a number of different options here. So I can choose, for example, to have my prod deploy step type associated with this deploy stage in my pipeline. Uh, I can also choose a specific service associated with that stage uh, if I need to. So I'll assign that and move on. The next step is to associate uh, the plans 
So that's the work items, user stories, etc. that I need for this particular app. Again, I'm going to choose uh, my ADO uh, as your boards for this and associate the plans with this app. And finally, uh, the code repositories. So which code repositories do we need to associate? Again, I'll associate my ADO code repo with this app, but I could have a mixture if I need to. I could have uh, Jira uh, in terms of having the uh, planning information. I could have Jenkins for the pipeline steps, GitHub for the code repo, etc. So I'll associate ADO. And now I can import historical data from those tools. Uh, you can choose up to 90 days of historical data to import. Uh, I'm going to go back and choose um, a couple of months worth of data in this case. So it will import uh, all that data into my application. And now my uh, workbook is complete. My playbook is complete and I can view the application uh, record. So you can see here the import of historical data uh, jobs have been created. So we just need to wait for those to complete. But I did import uh, some data uh, previously. So we can go and have a look at that. With the pipeline data, if I click into the pipeline, it will show me uh, the, the stages that are associated with my pipeline. So I can see I've got four stages there for that particular pipeline. With my planning information, if I click in, it will show me uh, the work items that I have, in this case coming from ADO. So these are all the uh, work items, stories, etc. I also have release <coughs> versions and uh, features coming from ADO. And with my code repository data, uh, in this case also coming from ADO, I can see my code commits that have been imported there. So all that data is now associated uh, with my DevOps app. And once I start tracking that data as new pipeline executions occur, uh, that data will, will show up in the DevOps Insights uh, application. So that covers an overview of the DevOps application. For additional videos, additional guidance and other information, please have a look at the DevOps page on our community site and also have a look at our docs page on the ServiceNow docs site uh, covering the DevOps products. Thank you very much.